Good morning. The purpose of this tutorial today is to show you how to make a master email list from your database that you get in eSchool. And this database then you can import into Google, into your Gmail, whether it's your work account or your student account, to facilitate emailing all of your students. So the first thing you want to do is open eSchool, and you're going to click on Light and Links. And over on the right hand side under in district reports, it says email list by course. So I'm going to click on that and give that a second to open. And now you're going to choose either semester one or semester two. So I'm going to choose semester one and down here at the bottom of the window is the next box so that you can keep going. Now here you have several options. You could choose all five of your classes so that you're sending out a general email to all of your students. You could do it by section where all of your pastry chef would be in one, your culinary basics in another, or you could do it individually so that you have five different email lists. And you can do all of those, whatever um, works for you. For the purpose of this, I'm going to select both pastry classes to make a grouping just for that course. And then go back down to the bottom and click finish. And I am going to open this file. And Excel's um, working on this. So the first thing we need to do here is we need to go to the top and enable editing. And now we have to do a little bit of work on this spreadsheet before it can be imported into Google. So what you're going to do is you're going to um, click on this one with the arrow so that that entire row gets highlighted. And you're going to go over here to delete and delete that sheet row. Then you're going to find the last row, which has a timestamp here. And we're going to select this row and delete that as well. Now we have to delete a few columns, so we're going to go back to the top and we are going to delete columns A, B, C, and D. So a trick here is you can just hold the control button down and select all of those at once. Go over here to delete and delete sheet columns. Now this is ready, so we're going to do a file save as. And I'm going to name this pastry 212 or 2012. Okay, and I'm going to put it on my desktop just so I can find it. You can save it wherever it is convenient for you. Now the next step is we need to save this as a CSV file. So you can find that here. And that's an important step. That is the way Google is going to read it. So rename it, save it as type CSV, and save it. Okay, and yes, we want to keep it in this format. And now we're going to close. And you can say, don't save here. And we can close this window. And now we are going to go into our email account. At this point, you can choose whether you want this in your teacher account or student. I'm putting it in my teacher account. So you go up, I've opened up my teacher account, and I'm going to mail and contacts. And down here, you can import groups. So I'm going to, or import contacts. So you click on that and you choose your file and it says right there it needs to be a CSV file. So I'm going to go here and pick my pastry 2012, which was my list that I opened, and then click on import and that will import that for us. So if you look, right here is our imported file. It shows up right in your list. Now we want to name it to something meaningful. So you click on it and just go to more and you can rename that group. And I'm going to name it All Pastry 2012. Again, anything that you need or that works for you. And there's your group. Okay, so now to email them, I go back up here to Mail. And I'm going to hit Compose. Okay, and you, there, there it went, sorry. There's my All Pastry 2012, and it pastes all of those students in there for me. Now, this is also convenient because if you want to take this whole list and copy it, you can go to your calendar if you did a course calendar, and um, you can save it. I didn't have my course calendars in this email account, but you can now share that calendar with all those students in one click by just copying and pasting that list into sharing that course calendar with those students, and that's done. 
All right. Also attached to this file, if you look in the description under YouTube, is a step-by-step -step, uh, document you can print to follow through and go along with it. All right. Thank you.